What's happening everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Ascended. That's right, we're back, we're testing it again. The Unreal Engine 5.5 update for um, the island map. Now, today's choice, we're using the Asus 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte Dual. Now, all these tests are for 4K. I know this graphics card is not built for it, but we're going to do it anyway. So we've got 4K DLS S um ultra performance frame gens on everything's turned off v-sync's off low settings let's see what we get okay so before you can see and after you can see we're great we're gaining a couple fps here and a couple um one percent lows the biggest thing once again is that latency so you can see in the old one the latency was at 37 you know 35 this one is 0 0.8 which is quite interesting. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Let's bring it into balanced. Okay, 4K, balanced. Everything's still the same. V-Sync is off. Let's see what we got, people. Let's see what we got on low. All right, so... Not the greatest, really. It's Once again, it's only a couple, like maybe four FPS. One, one of the things I've been noticing is the GPU, uh, the GPU power draw is actually less. It's kind of weird. It's like, a, oh, maybe not. No, yeah, it's less. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. So we're going to try quality settings this time for low once again. And let's give it a go. Okay, so once again, you can see the latency is like way up here. We're up in the 40s, the 60s, that sort of range. You got the 1% lows, not too bad, but the main FPS is very similar. Once again, you're only gaining a couple FPS, so for a performance gain, it ain't that much. All right, so we're moving on. We're going on to the medium settings at DLSS um, Ultra Performance, and let's have a look. Once again, we're gaining like five, five FPS, I think, in the new one. Less power draw. And you can see the latency used to be at like 30 to 50. Now it's at 0.8. So whatever they've done there, that's what they've changed. Okay, going on next is balanced in medium settings again. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah. FPS. We looks like the 1% lows has dropped a lot there. Oh no. They came back up once it sort of stabilized itself. It wasn't too bad. Okay, power draws down, and once again, yeah, that latency, that's the biggest thing. Let's go on to quality, medium settings, 4K, let's see what it does. Alright, what do we got? Let it stabilize, people. We we're actually getting a little bit better. Oh, it's about even. I think it's actually doing better in the old one there. Besides the latency, which is right up, right up in the 90s, the 70s and 90s. That's about it, really. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, on to the next one. We've got the epic settings, medium. Oh, I mean, sorry, epic settings, ultra performance. What do we got? 50. Remember, this is in 4K, so it's not bad for 4K, really. Once again, the latency is the biggest thing. Big change there. Let's go up to balance, 4K, high. Alright, what do we got? Yeah, it's actually doing better in the old one. Isn't it? Besides, the 1% lows. They're at 16 on 5.5. The latency's better. Power draws less, but yeah, I don't know. Quality settings. Let's go to high. See what we get. Alright. What do we got here? Yeah, once again. The old one's actually doing better in the frame rates, but not as nowhere near as good in the latency. Pretty much the same on the 1% lows there, though, on that one. Power draw is very similar, a little bit less once again. Okay, let's go to Ultra Performance for this one. And let's go to Epic Settings. Now, remember, it says for 4070, we only have the 5070 Ti, so technically it is higher, but it's not higher, you know what I mean? All right, let's go. All right, so once again, the frame rates are actually higher in the last one. 1% lows. 
better in the last one, I think, as well. But the latency, that's the difference there. Okay, let's go to balanced. Epic. Balanced epic. All right, what do we got? Wow, <laughs> it's barely running. Oh, she's got, oh, she's dabbling out a little bit. There we go, 26 frames per second there. 1% lows are basically the same. But look at the latency on the other one. It was up at 120, 123 at some points. It's dropping. I don't know what's going on there. Let's go to quality settings. Let's see what we got. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay. A little bit of craziness. Yeah, those 1% lows at the latencies. You're getting a few, like a little bit of frames on the Unreal 0.5. Okay, let's go to um, uh, DLSS off, and this is low settings. Okay. What we got? It's definitely better in the old one, actually. With the frames, anyway. 1% lows, and then the latency. The latency's bad, but the rest of it's actually pretty good. It's not too bad. Okay, let's go to medium. No DLSS. Check it out. Yeah, once again, you're getting higher frames than the old one. Just the latency is like up in 80, 140. That's terrible latency. Terrible. But we've got the same thing on the other one, actually. Now I see. Latency is terrible with that. I wonder what happened there. Okay. All right, let's go up to high and let's see what happens. No DLSS. Okay, the latency's real high once again. Oh, all right. It's actually higher in the new one. The new one's running terrible with no DLSS. Wow, that's surprising. Yeah. Okay. Let's go epic settings. Evidence crazy. Wow, 9 FPS. That's crazy. Stable out to 12. But the old version's actually doing better. So with no DLSS, you want to play it like that. It's actually better to play with no update in the old version. What's going on there? Wow. All right. Well, that was actually quite surprising. Um, we're going to leave this one here. So hopefully you all like that. Smash the like button. Consider hitting the subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. See you later.